pay again. Um, now, let's see the, diff the, the other type of SQL injection. Pre in the previous lesson, we talked about numeric SQL injection. Now, let's see how we can take advantage of string SQL injection vulnerability in displaying certain entries related to or associated to certain table. So in this exercise, here the, 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 the application is every time it executes this query whenever we enter some username in the box here. So basically the application is requires you or tells you that you enter some username like Smith as it tells. Then then when you click on go uh, let me refresh the page okay if you click on for example the username Smith okay Clicking on Go will display or will execute this SQL query that will yield or yields in the credit card information of the username or the or the for John Smith. So the application is challenging us in our ability to display all of the entries or all of the credit card numbers for all members of the application or the all the members or entries in the table which is user data so basically to do that we will rely on the numeric SQL injection in the previous example we used an SQL query that validates to true every time the application executes so basically here we have to provide the name which the application will process and then you will enter an SQL query that will result to true every time they every time the application executes. So click on R, for example, to be validated to true, we have to put like true condition and then space. Clicking on go, you see here all of the credit card numbers. Um, type of credit card. I mean, this is very confidential information to be released or um, to uh, outsiders like normal users or users who browse to websites like, for example, to be encountering with those information when while, while they are trying to execute some um, search or uh, process in the website. So those information are confidential, as you can see, credit card numbers, and are released and exposed to normal users whenever they execute an SQL query that validates through every time the application executed. So basically, the application must validate and further every query and every input processed by users or outsiders. I mean, outsiders are the users who browse the website doing normal activities like browsing, clicking on boxes, doing search, etc. Hope you like it, guys.